Yep, it's me again. Uh, okay, uh, just kind of a um, general video about uh, issues involving my presence on YouTube. Or what I've been thinking. Or, I don't know, whatever. Let's see where it goes. So anyway, I'm just a little pissed off at the moment. Because, you know, the last, those summation videos I made, they were pretty good videos. And it's like, you know, 500 views or something. I mean, it's pitiful. <laughs> so it's, it's... It's not, I'm not saying it's not worth my time, but it's uh, disappointing. So, I don't know what to do about that. I mean, it's not like, uh, <laughs> you know, they, they, it is what it is. I mean, people aren't being sucked in. Well, they're not being sucked in. They're not listening. They're not listening. Uh, it's not uh, sufficiently entertaining. Well, it's, that's just the way it is. But anyway, um, yeah, it just pisses me off. Uh, because, yeah, it sort of feels like a waste of time. I guess that's all that matters, is that I feel like it's a waste of time. Uh, why talk? You know, what's the point? No point at all. Just let this stuff roll around in my head and leave it there. No point in going to the trouble, and there's some trouble, of pasting it onto the internet. Uh, but anyway, so I'm just kind of thinking that maybe I'll... I'll post most of my videos to the Do Not God channel, and uh, you know I'll try to post my better ones to this channel, and I won't post another video till the last video I posted uh, gets like a thousand views. At least that's what I'm thinking. Uh, yeah, <laughs> you know, I mean it sounds like kind of a cheap tactic because you know why should I force people to watch a video uh, before I'll put another video up? But yeah, I make the videos, and, uh, you know, I mean, maybe if I know it's a clunker video, I'll cut some, some, some slack, but, uh, yeah, some of them are good videos, and, uh, I wouldn't have to keep repeating myself, maybe, if people watch the damn things, <laughs> but anyway, that's what I'm thinking. I'm also thinking I need somebody to argue with, uh, you know, it's really... There's no point in just saying stuff unless you get some sort of feedback that's useful. And you don't get any useful feedback in the comments. You know, it's a paragraph of mush. I mean, I should, I guess, uh, do some, uh, at least once a week, uh, grab the, I don't know, the most obtuse comments and try to respond to them. Uh, the most irritating and annoying comments, uh, whatever the standard will be. Um, but, uh, yeah, I also know that, I, that there needs to be a, a, better, a better conversation, a broader one. Um, I mean, we've done the atheism thing. So, yeah, we're pointing out that religion is old, archaic, dumb philosophy, and that uh, it, needs, it needs an upgrade. And part of the need, for some people, is based on the notion that, well, religion is bad. Uh, it's evil. Uh, it's bad for the human race. And uh, I certainly agree with that. I mean, it creates bigotry. It causes social um, conflict. Uh, gives people an excuse to hate each other. Uh, we just don't need that. And, you know, it's not just about the gay thing. Um, but that's a big part of it, is the civil rights thing. Because... Uh, as human beings, we should have the respect and the freedom to invest our lives in our own belief system, not in some dogma. I mean, if the state is going to impose truth on us, it should be imposing solid truth, not phantasmagorical bullshit. All right, well, where the problem comes in is that a lot of these atheists are no better. I mean... They have phantasmagorical notions uh, that are maybe not as bigoted, all right, so you get rid of that negative, but the ignorance and the, the stupid social policy that can be bred out of their um, silly notions of what human beings are accomplishing here and doing here is just as dangerous to the human race. Um, so there's a whole class of these, you know, these intellectual atheists, the scientists, that, uh, you know, I, I never realized how, 
how how bad science has gotten, how taken over by bullshit it has has uh, that's happened to it. I mean, I was always a little bit annoyed by Carl Sagan. I mean, I loved what he did in the sense that he made human beings pause and reflect and think about their existence. But he threw in all this, um, I guess because it's seductive, um, this love affair stuff. And he had it, though. That's the bottom line. He didn't throw it in. He didn't contrive it to make the message easier to sell. He actually lived it. I mean, he thought there was some, you know, useful purpose in even speculating about life in other parts of the universe. And that, uh, you know, he even had, I guess, some sort of notion that they might know some special truth that would make life make sense. That somehow, if you met one of these aliens, you wouldn't have, you wouldn't run out of conversation in about 15 minutes. You know, you'll talk about, oh well, what, uh, what do you, what, what's your ingredients in the special sauce? And uh, you know, as I said to the video, can you make your apple jacks stay crunchy in milk? Uh, it's just going to be about the desire equation and how this uh, other civilization finds a, you know, what, what gets them off, you know, what kind of good porn do they have, you know, <laughs> uh, you know, the, can they beat, to, you know, two girls in one cup, uh, you know, that's the bullshit of our existence, there's nothing to do with aliens, there's no reasonable conversation to have, uh, it's all bullshit, we know what this is, it's bullshit, it's a chase game. All we can do is talk about the cheese. Oh, there's the stork, uh, the heron, or whatever. <coughs> uh, it's been around for years, like 15 years. One lonely bird, never gets laid. <laughs> you know, it's very sad, really. There was a white one one year. But she only hung around for a couple of weeks. Uh, so it was, it's kind of sad, but anyway. Um, I'll have to do a video on that bird someday, because I see him almost every day. Uh, but anyway, where was I? Yeah, so anyway, the Thunderfoots and the DPR Joneses and the Andromedas, whatever, these guys are all a bunch of, it's all a religion to them too. They're all in love, uh, you know, with their science, in love with their planets and their volcanoes, <laughs> you know, and it's... So it's worth arguing with these guys, because they're, they're phantasmagoricals too. They're not dealing with the tragic truth of our existence. They're fucking glorifying it. I'm here at beautiful Mount Shasta. Blah, 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 blah. Look, I'm going to fly my airplane over the little rocks. <laughs> and take little pictures of rocks. Isn't it amazing how the human brain is interested by pictures it's never seen before? Oh, yeah. Profound. Yeah, that's how we work. <laughs> we'll look at anything. If it surprises us, anything, <laughs> it doesn't matter what it is, we'll look at it if we haven't seen it before, uh, if our brain doesn't automatically recognize it. Uh, but anyway, and we might even get a little bit horny. <laughs> That's how strange we are, but you might see, uh, might see a V in there somewhere, or some other image that uh, reminds us of something else. Uh, so that's how dopey we are. Damn lawnmowers. But anyway. To the point. So yeah, I want to try to provoke with some argument with these guys. Get these guys to talk about something real. The real consequences of our biology and the science that they love. And, uh, you know, see, see, see if they can explain why, why their perception of beautiful Mount Shasta is, you know, any better than just... Why, why don't I make a video and say, here's Shasta with some beautiful mountains. Or, here's me mounting beautiful Shasta. <laughs> you know, I mean, it's all, you know, whatever gets you off, it's all subjective crap. But the fact that they find this whole nature thing all gooey and, and, and uh, warm and fuzzy is just like religion. It's just another, this is my comfort zone. I can relate to the, the dumb little mountains and the rocks. Yeah, it's beautiful. Look, the little bird has little, little red markings. Ooh, pretty. I mean, it's, it's, it's silly. So anyway, uh, yeah, so that's where I'm going to try to head. 
See if I can provoke an argument. And look, they're nice enough guys. I don't want to be an asshole about this. Uh, it's not like they're being, you know, as fucked hearted as some religious bigot, some asshole, you know, who gets this truth from a 2,000 year old uh, fable. Uh, I mean, that's obviously much, much, a much greater crime. But there's still a crime against the truth being perpetrated here. And it's worth, uh, you know, ripping this out. I mean, these guys are getting, you know, 20,000 subscribers with videos with 100,000 views. And it's baby talk. It's goddamn mush. Uh, there's nothing cutting edge about it. There's nothing, you know, unique. It's, uh, you know, just spelling out the crap that's been spelled out for decades. Uh, and so, uh, shit. I mean, the... It should be challenged by some.